This is one artist's review of the episode number one of season eight, Landscape Artist of the Year. Let's get started. All right, I'm a watercolor artist, but that doesn't matter. An eye is an eye. Uh, this is the scene or the, the place where the episode took place. It is in Blackpool. It is the North Pier. And I took these images from Google. So you could have an idea of what the contestants were looking at. And I'm going to uh, do my own entry, but that'll be a later video. So this is the first completed uh, painting, or this is actually a print. And um, this was this the artist's interpretation of the photographs that you just saw. I'm not going to make real comments about this because I just, I just uh, don't want to compare painting to prints. Sometimes I do, but not in this case. Now, this is contestant number one. Uh, his entry had very simplistic forms, which I appreciate. And this was his interpretation of the scene that you saw at the beginning of the North, what is it called? The North Pier. Very simplified. He didn't get to finish. I don't think he finished. But um, it's quite abstract, emphasis on shape, form, and value. So yay. Uh, this is the next contestant. And needless to say, I love this one. He dropped the horizon. He made the emphasis on the uh, sand and on the kind of the glow and meandering path to the sea. And um, what can I say? I love the colors. I love the composition. I love the technique, everything about it. And I'll, uh, with no spoilers, I'll let you know that he won the heat. So he will go on to the next level. This is the next contestant who uses a, this very limited palette. His entry also had this limited palette. This is, this is what he chooses. So all of his paintings end up looking very, um, well, similar. That doesn't always happen with a limited palette, but of the limited work that I saw, this is the palette that he uses. Um, you know, it's one of those ones, you either like it or you don't, um, when it comes to the palette, at least. Um, I do like the composition quite a bit. This is the next one, a retired teacher, and because I'm a retired teacher, I had a great affinity for her. I also really, really love this painting, and I don't know. I struggled with this because I, I, I couldn't decide if this should be the winner or not, and I often disagree with the judges completely, which brings both my joy to the program as watching the painters, my angst, as I almost always disagree with the judges because they're looking for something different. And they don't always honor just darn good painting because they see so much darn good painting. They want to see something different. Uh, but I really, I really love this painting. She did not get to finish it, which I kind of like. I like it unfinished. But uh, I think she did a real good job with the verticals and the horizontals, color choices. And she, you know, no question, she knows what she's doing. I really, really enjoyed this painting. It looks... Um, very similar to a watercolor, but as I said at the beginning, there are no watercolors. Very seldom does a watercolorist enter this competition. Now, the next painting I wasn't able to get a really good image of because I don't exactly know how to do a screenshot, and what I could get is a little bit blurry. Yes, it is as long and narrow and small as what you see here. Very small painting. I, I, I kind of love it, though, uh, because she put in the shadow from the platform she was standing on, and then the fence, and then on to the sand, and all the way back to uh, the end of the pier. So I appreciate the amount of space she used. And also she thought outside the box, you know, she didn't make it a horizontal, because that's the temptation, because certainly what I'm going to do when I answer the challenge. This looks a lot like a watercolor, but it's not. I think what she did was used acrylic or oil paint and watered it down a great deal when it came and let the sky just flow. The beginning of the heat had very cloudy skies. Later, it brightened up. I really like this painting, but it did not. She, she did not survive the heat. So those are the contestants. And like I said, I'm going to be doing my own painting. I'm going to probably paint every location they have in the series because it's fun. So uh, remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, mask for value, mix for color, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.